So today we're about to find out how good of a guard dog is the American Staffordshire. Or rather, how good of a guard dog is Molly. Because you know, every dog is different with their own personality and training and stuff. So, I'm gonna dress up as Santa Claus and be the intruder, I guess. After that, I'm gonna enter the apartment and we'll see, well, <laughs> if I survive. Why am I doing this again? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I guess I wanted to show you guys how different a dog can react when up against a threat. All depending on if the dog is alone versus if they are with somebody they know versus of course if they are with the owner and that he or she is holding a leash. Now do you think there will be any difference? Now obviously there is a few reasons why you shouldn't try this at home. But you know, I will explain more about that and break down everything that you're about to see in the end of the video. Alright guys, enough talking. All right, guys, wish me luck. So that was intense. We should we should do this more often, Molly. All right. So I want to talk about a few things before I show you guys the third scenario, which, by the way, was a total disaster. It's not much to see, and I'll explain why in a second. So the reason why I insist that none of you should try this at home is first of all because you can get hurt which is bad but you can also trigger a unwanted and uncontrolled behavior with your dog and then you might ask why the f are you doing it then so to make it short first of all molly has done a mentality test so i kind of know what to expect from her but secondly we have been training for scenarios like this before so what i'm basically trying to say is that 
there were no risks involved in making this video. Not for me, not for Molly. Now when we got that out of the way, I want to break down Molly's behavior during these scenarios and basically talk about what it shows us. So about the first scenario, which was when Molly was alone in the apartment. She's yeah, chilling, you know, watching the birds and stuff when the door opens. Her immediate reaction is to tell this weird figure to back off. I do not trust you. And I mean, who would look at this guy? This is by far the sketchiest Santa I've ever seen. So as soon as I start to move forward to claim space, Molly retreats back to the couch. As you can see, she looks strong and confident there and she continues to let me know that I'm not welcome. So I didn't want to push her more than I already had, so after that I just backed off. And I guess there's people who ask themselves like why didn't she attack? So what we need to understand here is that the Amstaff or the American Staffordshire is not a guard dog. Sure they can protect family members if attacked and such, but they don't necessarily protect things or certain areas. Now there's a reason why a bear don't really want to attack a wolf for example. I mean sure the bear will probably win but he might also get some serious injuries. It's just not worth it. So now when she's alone, the only thing really that she protects is herself. Now the second scenario was quite interesting. Now there was some miscommunication between me and my friend. The point of the second scenario was to see how much the human presence would reinforce Molly's confidence. So I basically wanted him to stand next to Molly, which he didn't. He's on the couch. As you can see, the first second is pretty much the same. This time she's a bit more dominant and upset on my presence. But even though my friend is on the couch and far away, Molly is more confident and stands her ground for a longer period of time when I walk forward. And I mean she only pulled back a few steps here. So here you can see that I'm carefully waving him forward and you can clearly see that she felt more confident about the situation. And I bet you noticed this one, at this point she came so close to me that she got my scent and yeah, look at this. But then of course I started to act weird again and her warnings continued. So during these scenarios I always acted like a threat. Not exactly like someone that you would trust the first time you meet. But as soon as I stopped acting like one, she showed curiosity and wanted to come forward. And that's the exact mentality that I want. <laughs> And from here on now, it was just fun in games. She did not seem as a threat. So about the third scenario, I will just tell you right now, it was a total disaster, it's not much to see. The point was to see how much confidence a dog gets just because the leash is on. I mean the tension your dog feels through the leash makes a huge difference. But she did not see him as a threat. <laughs> We even changed the costume so my friend looked like this and still she wanted to come forward and say hi. Now there's probably a lot of reasons for that. First of all, we did the third scenario the same day. And second, I had a leash on when we were inside which basically never happens. And of course it did not help that the first time my friend entered the room he forgot his camera. And he told me that, so Molly heard us two talking. So yeah, she kind of felt like this is not a real situation guys, what are you doing? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next one. Stay positive. Peace.